So, I just wanted to share some thoughts on Korean. Uh, I'm taking a Korean 111 this semester, and we just had our first class. Well, actually, second, because uh, last class was introductions. But anyway, uh, since I'm studying linguistics, I do notice a couple of weird things with the vowels, because we did vowels today, and uh, I just kind of, you know, share my thoughts. Um, if you if you look at Hangul, if you've ever tried to learn Korean, the first thing you'll do is, you know, obviously look at Hangul. And if you look at the supposed IPA values for the vowels, it's these. E, U, U, O. What's uh, the strut vowel, but it, American convention is actually not really a strut vowel, but it's it's like O. But, because that diacritic means rounded, so I, I can't really do that one. And then ah. But then if you actually check the Wikipedia page for Korean phonology, it puts it like this. Um, and with a couple extra lines, and with some explanation in on the Wikipedia page, in Seoul Korean, O, it, I'm going to use the Japanese pronunciation for equivalent, because I can't pronounce these right now. Obviously, I just started. Uh, o is pronounced higher than O, uh, while in North Korean, the dialects are... the uh, North Korean dialects, the two are comparable in height, and O uh is more fronted. So obviously, ex excluding the North Korean part, O uh is produced higher than O, uh, and assuming O uh is mid, then that means O uh is actually a high vowel, okay? And then in Seoul, U uh is fronted while O uh is raised, and both are almost the same height, but O uh is still more rounded and back. Due to that, alternative transcriptions like U uh, uh with more rounding and U uh that is retracted for O, uh, for phoneme O and U with less rounding and U that is pulled forward, I think. It's one of the tongue with diacritics. Where U, phoneme U are proposed in both varieties. U is fronted away from U. Now, excluding the, the beginning bit for a second, that would mean the, the U is a central vowel. Which, honestly, I can't tell the difference between U and back version anyway, so yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, the U and O is interesting. The U and O vowels being the same height, but one is fronted and the other one isn't, is kind of interesting, which I'll get to. But anyway, the, the textbook that we used is the Seoul University textbook. Uh, it's this one. Uh, the Seoul National University Korean Language 1A Students Textbook developed by the Language Education Institute of Seoul National University for the Korean language regular program, about 200 hours of class production, this text is ideal for learners who want to develop basic communicative competence. And it does have an IPA list here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Which page is this? This page. Right. Uh, it's not very big. Anyway, it's basically what I've listed here in this chart. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is that the U is actually now transcribed with a central vowel, which is interesting. But then that, that weird strut vowel that's unique to Korean is written as a schwa, which is confusing. Obviously, the U and the O vowels are treated as a regular five-vowel system you would have is IUL like Japanese, uh, except that there's no E. E is in Korean, but it's not written with a basic vowel for some reason. <clears throat> and now, it might seem weird, but it actually appear appears that, that the, the Seoul University textbook chart is has relations to the Middle Korean vowel chart. This is the Wikipedia list for the Middle Korean vowel chart, which everything's in the same spot. Except it has the additional um, Middle Korean dot vowel, which here is strut vowel. That's probably I, I assume that might be why the, the Seoul University textbook uses uh, this chart instead of the Wikipedia chart or something like the Wikipedia chart. Um, combining the two, you might well combining the two and, and moving that schwa vowel to something more reminiscent of modern pronunciation, you might get this. Uh, but it actually does have some sense to keep keep the original uh, Middle Korean slash Seoul University style in that the concept of 
middle you know middle Korean vowel chart does correspond very to some degree oddly nicely with the bright dark vowels. It's basically vowel harmony, but what quality exactly isn't clear. Um, you can map it on here through a straight line. It doesn't because obviously when we're considering vowel harmony in linguistics and phonology, it's some qualities, not just a line you draw on the vowel chart. It is some quality. Usually it's like front or back and high and low. But here it's it's the oh vowel and u and then you have ah and o which is like that it crosses both the central back and central it crosses both the central back and high mid mid low which doesn't make any sense but at least it's a, it's visually useful to just kind of remember uh cuz apparently these these also dictate the diphthong well the labial glide onset diphthongs rules for writing uh hangul which you know, might be useful anyways a a useful mnemonic i don't know where i saw this from um but i i someone i i saw somewhere a modified simplified i guess layout uh it isn't exactly this i modified it myself but basically the the original one that i saw was that um everything's the same except for the placement of that off vowel vowel um the the, the strut vowel weird one <clears throat> where it's like so it's e u u o a and then like always in the middle above uh ah but you'll notice that the the e and u the the, the two high well, the, the high front and the, the high central one, they're just straight lines. And then U and O, the, the high back rounded and the mid back rounded, the, the two lines, they actually face each other. Uh, so it's actually useful for, it's really easy to remember. And then using this logic, the, I modified the, the strut vowel. So these two actually look the same. And the other thing is, I noticed in class when we were going over the vowels, that weird strut vowel, which is written, you know, it's a schwa vowel in the Seoul University textbook and the rounded strut vowel, uh, in on Wikipedia, it sounds roughly similar to aw, but it like, like aw as in like, um, phonetically transcribing American, my tra American English pronunciation for dawn, palm, Cloth, thought, whatever, uh, as well as something like um, Sujanese, no, da, but etc. Right. Um, so anyway, this is purely a phonetic transcription based on like just rough, roughly trying to phonetically transcribe the, the teacher. Uh, so e is obviously just e, a is a, but then everything else is somewhat different. So. I can't hear the difference between central u uh, and back u, uh, so I'm just gonna write that squiggly line. So it could be either one. Um, the u uh, vowel, what's supposed to be an u uh, vowel, actually sounded more like it was a. It was produced almost like a a fricative, a voiced fricative or a, a proximate, where. You have, it's, it's like your tongue, the back of your tongue is like raised, almost making some kind of velar consonant. So it's, instead of being oo, it's like oo. Right, so it's somewhat similar to the Japanese, uh, oo, maybe, which is why I put it in central, because the Japanese one's actually central. Uh, so, yeah, I put, I put it central here, so that, that's, uh, that symbol is the, <laughs> this one here is the velar approximant, and then that diacritic is low, so it's like a lowered velar approximant, so it's like less consonant. And then this is just the rounded central vowel, high central rounded vowel. So it's like ooh, and then the o vowel, what's supposed to be the o vowel, right, is 
sounds kind of like an uval, but it's not an uval. It's kind of more open than uval, but it's not as open as an oval. So it's not kind of like just halfway in between. Oh, uh, ah is ah, and I mentioned earlier that ah, the strut vowel that's supposed to be the strut vowel. Here is more like the Sudanese ah or my American English ah. So, yeah. You know, just, just some quick interesting thoughts. The main takeaway is you can, if anyone wants to learn Korean, you can use this as a, this slide here as a mnemonic. Uh, cause it's, it's really easy to remember. Just like down, across, and then these two face each other, and then these two face each other. So, you know, 